Hey guys, what's up? I'm Natalie Allen, a photographer and writer here for Moment, and today we're going to be talking about how to shoot in manual on your mobile device. For this video is going to be showing you how you can take your photography game the next step further because shooting in manual just allows you to be more flexible and creative with your photography. What we're going to be talking about in this video are more independently controlled manual settings. Shutter speed, ISO, autofocus, and white balance. So instead of just sitting here and telling you about it, let's go out and shoot, and I'm going to be using the Moment app to show you how we can independently use all of these settings. All right, so here we're in the middle of Seattle, and right now we're going to be talking about shutter speed. Shutter speed's just essentially how slow or how fast the shutter is open to take the shot. The faster the shutter speed, the more dark and contained the image is, the slower the shutter speed allows more light to come into the photo and allows more flexibility for there to be more motion blur within the photo. For example, sports photographers are going to be shooting at a higher shutter speed because they want a contained, sharp image stopping the action. But for on-the-go lifestyle images, which is essentially what I mostly like to shoot, I like to keep a shutter speed of 1 60th or higher because I don't want any unnecessary motion blur within my shot. In the native app, you can't control things like shutter speed. That's why I like to use the Moment app so I'm able to get more flexibility with my photos. So right now we're gonna go and shoot a waterfall to capture the motion of the water with a slower shutter speed. when I put the filter on, it blurred the water much better than without the filter. And that's because my shutter speed with the filter was at 1 6. The image without the filter was like 1 out of 500. So essentially, shutter speed is crucial to upping your mobile photography game. If you were to use one of these ND filters on the native app, it's going to automatically adjust and increase your ISO, allowing more noise level in. So being able to manually control each and every setting like ISO and shutter speed together is so crucial. So the next thing is RAW. I know it sounds pretty intimidating, but it's super simple to get a hang of. Contrary to JPEG, RAW is uncompressed, which means it allows more detail and dynamic range for lighting and contrast in the photograph. It gives you a ton more capabilities and flexibility with post-processing, which is a huge plus, especially if you're shooting on your phone, because anything helps. I shoot RAW 100% of the time on my DSLR, so there's no reason not to on my phone as well. So I'll show you a comparison shot of JPEG and RAW. Look for the differences in sharpness and brightness in the photograph, because you'll probably be able to tell. So now we're going to move over here and talk about white balance. And this is a great spot because we not only have shade, but daylight and warm colored walls. Because sometimes when you're shooting on the native app or just any smartphone in general, sometimes it chooses the wrong white balance for you. So being able to manually control that is pretty cool. So right now I'm going to take a little portrait shot of Niles in front of this red um, wall here in the shade. I personally like a little more warmer images, so I'm going to make it warm but still complement his skin tones and the color of the red wall. manually control the consistency of colors and tones in your photos before you edit them is pretty important. As always, you want to just take a good shot and not always rely on editing, so white balance really helps there. So next is dual lens. In your phone's native app, you can't really choose what lens you want to use for your photo, whether it be wide or telly, but in external third-party apps like the Moment app, you can. There's a 1x and there's a 2x. The 1x is a wider lens and the 2x is the tele lens. So this comes especially in handy when you're using moment lenses because you can pretty much hard select exactly what lens you want to shoot with, the ride or the tele. 1x for the wide, 2x for the tele.
So now we're talking about focus. And focus is really easy. And honestly, I pretty much shoot automatic all the time, autofocus. But for the few times that you want to be manually selecting your focal point, it can come in handy pretty quick. So I'm going to be focusing on Niles here, first focusing on the coffee, and then focusing on his face. And in the Moment app, it's pretty awesome because you have a slider, and it makes it all that much more easy. The next setting is ISO. It's really simple, and it's essentially the camera's sensor sensitivity to light. It's a total mouthful, but essentially, the lower the ISO, the lower the noise, the higher the ISO, the more grainy and blurry it is, and just gross. Obviously, in darker settings, and sometimes even indoors, you will need to inevitably increase the ISO. Just don't get too crazy with it. <laughs> the ability to manually control your ISO is gonna just make your images look that much better. Alright, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, I hope these tips were really helpful and gets you shooting on your phone more in manual settings. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Natalie. Yeah. You did great. Comment below if you think she did great. She did oh. great. You did great. You did great. Oh, 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 oh,